Facing Waves is brought to you in part by Level 6, for your passion on and off the water. This week on Facing Waves, our Newfoundland trip continues as we make our way up the coast to Carpoon Island. Arriving late in the iceberg season, we had yet to see one of Newfoundland's iconic floating towers, but we knew that if there was anywhere we'd run into one, this would be the place. We passed this little fishing village, and in the bay, there's not one, but actually two icebergs. We've got a little iceberg in the bay itself, and we can see through the cut in the open ocean, a much bigger iceberg. So we decided to make a quick pit stop, see if we can go chase some ice. The wind's blowing pretty hard. I'm not going anywhere broadside. We knew the big iceberg that was in the open water was gonna get blown downwind really quick. So we paddled out there to try to catch up with it. The wind was howling out there. The swell was big. We realized quickly that we will probably very easily catch up to the iceberg, but there was very little chance that we'd be able to get back home. Not a good scenario. So we abandoned the plan to, to chase the big iceberg and uh, decided to go back, play with the little iceberg and do some paddling with some ice. You could make a whole lot of margaritas with that. Sweet. I got me some iceberg. From what I hear, this is pretty much as pure as water can get. Well, a little salty on the outside, but that's some good water. Who thought that thousand year old water could taste fresh? Iceberg margaritas. I like the sounds of that. I really wish we could have caught up to the big iceberg. That would have been pretty neat. But even that small iceberg, I mean, I say small iceberg, but that thing was massive. Being up that close to something like that, it almost has a life of its own, the way it was groaning, creaking, cracking, popping. Every once in a while you'd feel, you wouldn't even hear it, you would feel it crack. It's like the, the water was shaken. They are gonna roll, they are gonna to have large chunks break off, they're, they're gonna break apart. And so the general rule is you wanna stay uh, twice their height as a distance away so that when big pieces do fall off, that they're not gonna land on you, because that would, that would be game over. But there's something that was just overwhelming that compelled me to paddle through. It was a perfect passageway through that iceberg. It called, <laughs> and I couldn't, I couldn't help but paddle through it. You know, if I've got nine lives, I think I've probably only used six or seven of them up. I have at least two more. There's a lot of boxes that I've been able to check off my to-do list, but one of the boxes that has been noticeably unchecked has been paddling with icebergs. Coming around the corner and seeing those icebergs today, that was like a dream come true. 